Hey guys, we are at Horizon looking at brand new debut 77 FD 77 Skyline. Did yes, I say it right? You did. Okay. <laughs> FD 77 Skyline. Skyline indicates that it's an enclosed flybridge. Um, Elise, one of my favorite market people ever, is going <laughs> to um, show us around. So um, here we are. Take it away. Sure. This boat has a 22 foot 8 inch beam. Um, that's really large for an FD-77, or 77 in general, actually. Um, what that affords you is beam throughout the boat. The whole design means you get beam all the way forward. Um, that really gives you four staterooms, including an on-deck master, which is unheard of in this industry. Wow. Okay, let's check it out. So I'm obviously seeing we've got uh, this awesome little beach club. Yes. Yeah, it's so big. It's, it is. It's not it's even huge. little. I'm just, wow. You also have a hydraulic swim platform here that lowers. So you can put your tender on here, jet skis, open up the beach club, have a beautiful day at anchor. <sighs> okay, check out the beach club with me. Nice seating. Wet bar area. This is actually the crew mess. When this is not the beach club, this acts as crew mess. Oh, awesome. So the idea is your crew will be helping you when you're doing your tenders and your toys. This is so nice. Yeah. So how many different layouts of this area do you guys have? That's a hard question because there's tons of A lot, right? A lot. So there's a lot of different options. As a semi-custom builder, you know, other than structural bulkheads, we say um, the sky's kind of the limit on the layout. So this, so. this could be a, a toy storage. Exactly. Um, this could be a... Um, an extra crew space exactly. if you're really nice to your crew. Um, what else do you guys do with it? You could do a workspace here. So if you had maybe one crew member and you wanted to do a reduced crew space, we could put in a workbench. You can you know, do a gym. You could do a gym. There's so many options. This is amazing. Quarters are really nice. Whoever owns this boat likes their crew. <laughs> Great amount of space. And we got storage and uppers. Wow. And you can actually put another crew person in here if you needed to. If you needed to. Yeah, yes. you can do a, a bunk in here. What did we tour? 85 last year? We toured the 85. Yeah, yes. that was just massive. But yeah. this doesn't feel that much smaller. It's not. And we finished the crew quarters out the way the rest of the boat. So there's no separation in terms of, um, you know, an owner comes down here and wants to use the beach club. It's still just as nice as the rest of the boat. Everybody's favorite. Well, you could tell how well insulated this is because you couldn't hear anything. So quiet. Wow. Oh, Rico would like this. This is a nice amount of space. Look at the headroom. It's great. Awesome. We've got nice access to everything in here. Okay, what kind of engines has got? These are mans. Um, we actually put mans in this boat. It gives you a little bit more room because caterpillars tend to be a little bit larger. But you've got options for man, MTU, or caterpillar. So whichever brand you like to use. The boat's also outfitted with zero speed stabilizers, balanced stern thruster, water maker, upgraded generator. Everything you need is at your fingertips. This is the way crew would be going up, you guys. Wow. Oh, I really like the um, interior. The design is really cool. So obviously the owner was part of it. Yeah, this is actually an inventory boat. Oh, this is an inventory it's boat. It's an inventory boat. So our awesome. in-house design team worked with our US office with myself and with our director oh, so uh, to spec out the interior. And together, we I think we did a really nice job. I mean, the signature windows, yes. obviously, this massive windows. Um, do, so those two doors, so you don't have a sliding door in this boat? We don't. You have a sliding door here, here. Mm -hmm. um, but we didn't do the sliding doors here. We thought, um, especially when underway, we'd like to, for an inventory boat, put in these two side doors. Oh, so it's an option. So it's an option. Oh, you could do okay. a sliding door if you would like. On all the FDs? Yes. Oh, nice. This all slides and there's option to have this all slide. So there's like a massive sliding door that you could guys have as a yeah. slide, as an option. So obviously it just depends how you use the boat. but. That is something that you don't see that often. No. To have that much cross breeze and just that much space is amazing. One of the really nice things too is that this is a convertible dining table. Right now it's in its breakfast bar position. But you open up this second leaf, you move the table and secure it, and then you can have somebody sit all the way around the boat. This 
is a partition that raises up, and I can show you that. But you're able to fully close off the galley between the doors and the partition. So if you're entertaining caterers or your crew is in here, you can make it so they're not apart. You've got two sliding doors right here, and then if you press that button that's got the up and down arrows, you'll press the up. Yeah. What? And we kept glass so that the light still comes through, but you can't really see through it. So it's not, it's oh, not completely it's opaque, awesome. but it's not completely clear. So it's just a nice feature. Can I just go? Yeah, you do that, and then it'll go down. You just hit it once. Takes a second. And so this door here closes. Exactly. Oh, this is brilliant. That's just awesome. Pretty amazing. Like you said, even if you have crew that, you know, but if you ever had a caterer or something. Yeah. Oh, that's great. It's really great. You can have a little bit more of a mess in the kitchen and nobody gets to see exactly. it. Exactly. And then you've got a wine cooler here with a little bar top. So if you want to store your wine, make somebody some drinks. This is quartz. So this is going to hold up over, over time with where it won't be stained with acid. We use quartz in a lot of our boats now because it's just so much easier. Just, I, I'm in love with it. Floating staircase. <laughs> <laughs> on deck master. On deck master, which is a, a huge thing for a lot of people. Sorry. No, go ahead. <laughs> Full beam. Full beam forward, which is kind of different. Um, I feel like don't see it a lot. It's it's like really nice work around, good amount of space. Um, I hope you guys can see the perspective. It's really, it's a lot of room. You've got a hanging closet there, plus a walk-in closet as well. <sighs> so his, hers. Yes, that's right. His closet. Oh, actually he gets a really nice closet too. I mean, this is really big. Wow. No, I know. I don't know. Maybe he gets a closet somewhere else. This is a really good second closet. <laughs> it's a good shoe closet. <laughs> wow, look at this. Yeah, you you can totally live on this boat. There's more enough room. This is amazing. And then this is the oh. head. And obviously, this also could be different. There, are how many layout options are same, also same tons? The whole the whole boat itself has got various configurations. If you want to do galley aft. If you like to do a country kitchen here and not an on-deck master. Um, there's really so much that you can do here. We often tell people just dream it and, and we'll see what we can do about it. I like that. Happen. I like that a lot. This yes. is a really nice one up there to set up. You're all in like in the same level when your yeah. main space. Yes. Um, separated from the guests and stuff that you have. This is pretty sweet. An on-deck master again on a 77 foot yacht is, is pretty unheard of. Yes. But uh, for us to get this was, was Fantastic. And the windows, the amount of light, space, two, two closets. <sighs> Amazing. Okay, we going yeah, yeah. below. Yeah. Okay. So down here you have three ensuite state rooms. Three ensuites, you guys. Wow. Seventy-seven. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And this is a pretty nice VIP. Absolutely. Gorgeous. Massive showers. You have to have a good head. Totally. All of your staterooms have to have a nice head, nice shower space where you can actually put your elbows out and not touch, Real, not touch a wall. Great amount of space. Again, massive closets. Wow. I mean, that might be the best closets I've seen in a while. Like. For this size of a boat, it's really, really big. Anywhere, anywhere we can get storage in, we do our best because we have a lot of owners. Wow. They do Bahamas crossings. You know, they, they like to go away for months at a time. You know, they go up the East Coast, so a storage is very important to them. I'm actually blown away. Wow, I'm blown away. I mean, that closet is bigger than the closet I have. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like collectively. Collectively. <laughs> Between my all my closets that I've taken over and his, he has his own room. But yeah, that's just amazing. Wow. So then we have another VIP. The door. 
pores feel so good. This is actually a washer dryer right here. How does, that, how does that work? The door slides back. I like the, the venting. Yeah, there was a few few things. Um, the first time I was on Horizon, I was very impressed with. So you guys have all these little tricks that I thought were brilliant. Probably one of them. Yep. Little tricks. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. That's just awesome. You're always trying to find a space. Like that's Slippers, always, always trying yeah. to find a space for for um, vacuum sweeper. Exactly. Linen locker there. Linen locker. It's just a great use of space. What um what's behind the um that panel? Is it um access? Or? It is. Yeah, it is access. So you've got some of your electric back there. So you can also check on your Maritron or your Octoplex screens, which is your touch you know touch screen breakers. Mm -hmm. But everything's redundant, so you have actual breakers that you can go to as well. But that's really nice access. It's like a comfy access. Yes. Cool. Okay. So oh well, that's wait. You said that was a VIP. That's a VIP. <laughs> this that's is the like, valve. This is like a second master. Wow. fan of of having a door just kind of separating us I think it's such a nice touch like to have a separate door for um, the, for the toilet side of it a little more privacy yeah it's because you could do this you could leave this door and then having an extra door kind of gives it more room here but then yeah that's very great that's just a great design So this is your twin guest stay room. Um, the nice thing about the stay room is that this bed actually slides over. So if you've got grandkids in here, they're two separate beds. If you have a couple, you can slide the bed over. If I've got grandkids, <laughs> thanks at least. Uh, no. Who buys the boat? Maybe it's you, I don't know. <laughs> no grandkids. Just when you think, where's the closet, right? It's a massive closet. Rico's going. <laughs> All right. Okay. Keep going. But wait, there's more. It's like a huge must for me. I just love when there's day heads just all over the place. Is there still a day head on um, on the first place? There is. It's you actually guys. accessible from the outside. If somebody wanted to, we could put a day head with access from the inside. You guys are killing it. Just awesome. So this is really nice to be able to use the AC or being able to be warm when you're in California. <laughs> Complete <Yes>. opposite <laughs> issue. Yeah. Yes. How many boats do you guys have in California now? I know you have a few. Um, we do have a few. Uh, the United States total owners average of anywhere about 90 okay. um, at any given time. But the more boats that we sell, obviously that number is going to increase. Um, on the West Coast, I'd say we've got yeah, like between Seattle, California. You know, we probably got 25, 30. Yeah, I know. I keep there. you know, like just a few years ago, I felt like it was, you know, when I was on the West Coast, there was mm -hmm. like Horizon. There wasn't as now. It's just like now it's. And we have a lot really of people you know, shipping their boats also. Some yeah. people are shipping their West Coast boats over here and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So sometimes as those numbers fluctuate because maybe they want to go explore a different coast for totally. a while. Um, and so that those numbers do fluctuate sometimes. Yeah, it makes sense. No, but this is a great, great line. I mean, there's so much space back there. It's amazing. 
This shelter. doesn't sacrifice a lot of outdoor space for you. That's the nice thing. If you like an enclosed bridge, you still have the area up on the bow. You've got your boat deck. You've got your aft deck. You've got the beach club. So if somebody wants to have an enclosed space to pilot the boat, you're really not sacrificing a, a whole lot. Yeah, it's great. I'm assuming there's a TV popping there's out a of TV here. Right here. Yes, it's beautiful sitting area. This table is a high load table too, oh. so you can lower it, put a pad for overnight crossings if you want your captain up here. This other flexibility uh, option. So comfy. Okay, I want to see the actual um, open fly here. Okay, let's get. Am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? Uh huh. Oh, this is a massive door. Oh yeah, you don't even really feel like your inside of this is open. Like it's great. That's right. Massive amount of space. So this obviously you can do whatever you want here. This yes. This is kind of an. Um, an this is a blank slate. Blank we slate, did pre-plumb yeah. and pre-wire for a jacuzzi here. Okay. Um, so if someone wanted to do that, then you've got uh, the ability to put a jacuzzi here. Um, you've also got space for a tender. Again, if you could put your tender on the app uh, swim platform, you could leave this for sun loungers or some lounge seating. So there's a lot of space here to work with. It's massive space. Yeah, it could be really nice. Uh, I mean, you've got the alfresco dining down below, exactly. but you can also have a nice table if you know if you want to have like really nice views all That's around. Right. So. Definitely. Well, it's great. Uh, one of the features that I think is so unique to Horizon is the walkway that you guys have. That yes. Kind of a, I don't know, how do you describe that? We call it walk around. So the FD series, um, especially this one, you can walk on the port side all the way forward to the bow amongst right. um, so all the models. On the starboard side, we don't do that because there's a staircase from the aft deck up to the, the bow, but you still get your access to both your wing stations for docking, which is very important. For so you guys don't captain. have like a, your own word for that type of walk around that you have, because it's not a typical one. You should just come up with, <laughs> come like, up with a, come up with, I'll like, tell the marketing department yes, because it's, we need it's to do a that. special thing. Like yeah. I usually, when I talk about horizons, one of the things I describe and I, I'm like trying to describe it. And yeah. like, I wish there would be like a term I'd be like, that's what it means. Well, well yeah, that next, next boat show we'll have. A yeah, term. I think, <laughs> I think you should. It's a very unique feature to the horizon. Cool. Um, should we, I think maybe we should do the bow and, yeah, and then go good. back in. boat is busy there are people on board so we're trying to move around so we're not in customer's way oh it's so much room it's so wide this is that wing station i was telling you about so if you look over really easy to see super, see super yacht super yacht feeling here totally The tender goes on the um, swim, swim platform? Or on the boat deck. Oh, on the boat deck. Yes. Okay, got it. And then you've also got access here. These are for um, sunshades to come up. So there's poles. So we provide sunshades for here as well as for the boat deck. Got it. And I mean, just the view from here, Rico, come look at this view. Like it just, you really feel like you're on a super yacht. Like this just looks, I mean. That's a it's sexy view. 77, but it's not 77 it's feet. It's not. It's definitely not. It definitely feels like it's definitely at least 100 feet. Yeah. You guys really maximize the space, that's for sure. I mean, the beam obviously helps. Of course. Um, obviously, because of the history of Horizon and catamaran um, experience that you yeah. guys have. I, I always feel like I'm on the FDs that it's sort of this mixture of a, you know, um, a really Clean. nice power yacht yeah. and, and the and catamaran. Yeah. So you get you get that um, stateroom space that mm. you are sometimes missing on a cat. Yes, and you get it here, but you also um, you also get that massive beam of uh, the catamaran kind yeah. of. So Definitely. that's how I feel. Oh, it's just beautiful. So here is that feature that we talked about. So when you guys look here, obviously this is your walkway. So this is your walkway to uh, to the flybridge, and down there we have a staircase. So it's it's not equal uh, or it's not identical. It's not symmetric. It's not symmetric. It's, really symmetric. Thank you. <laughs> it's not symmetric. So that's uh, that's very different and very interesting. Cool. So we're gonna take the stairs now.
So obviously you got a really nice alfresco dining here. I mean, yes. you can configure this whichever way you want. You actually can. This table moves, so this table can go into these slots, and then you can actually put chairs all the way around. So again, flexibility on the south deck area. Also, I remember on the 85, there was a layout that had like a, it was like a barbecue and stuff yes. here as well, right? So this that's- This whole back area could be like a built-in settee. Mm -hmm. where you could put in a barbecue, an ice maker, a fridge instead of seating. So you might opt to do the dining here with your chairs and then leave that for serving. Yeah, I really, I really, that was a really nice feature. Um, can you tell that I'm like obsessed with the 85? Yeah. <laughs> it's a great boat. Was it I don't, last I don't year or was it two years? It was years? last year. I mean, it was like, last year. Super fresh in my memory. I love that year. boat. I mean, it was literally one of my favorite boats um, yeah. last year, so it's awesome. So over there with the gentleman that's standing, there's actually another day head, which is like just a must have. If you're in the Bahamas, you can just jump in like and it's just- Wet bathing suits, just come right up, use the so day head, go Yeah, so I, that, that's one of the features that Horizon is just nailing, having this kind of a luxury, um, comfortable features that you, know, you don't get on a lot of the boats. Super yacht features and a motor yacht. Very good, yeah, that's that's how I would put it. Well, this was a, an amazing boat. I mean, Thank I you. just when oh you can God. think, how can you take everything from like a size of 85 and squeeze it into this boat but you guys did it really well and it doesn't feel like it's you know clustered it's it's a very open layout that yes. was our goal very very good awesome well thank you so much for showing it to welcome. us it's I'll always see a pleasure later. to have you this is so much fun all right you guys as always subscribe 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 and we see you in the next one drop down in the comments if you have any questions i will be emailing elise and asking her all this back actually Yes. It's the standard straight shaft. Yeah. Got it. The only difference with this boat So they're the thrusters. Yeah, there's balancer and thrusters. Okay. The biggest thing about this boat is is the high performance piercing bow that's on the front. You know, the whole design was a whole design that we tank tested five years ago um, for all of the FD series and the R and D that went into it is we didn't take a traditional motor yacht hull and just place this interesting design on top of it. You know, we went through this process with Cordo Rover, the designer, and our, our shipyard engineers, naval architects Donald Blau, and said, you know, let's do a new hull form so that we have this interesting design, but we also have the performance behind it. So that high performance piercing bow, you know, sticks out the front. You can see it in any of the running videos that we do, but what it gives you is a wave piercer when you need it. And then you also get the comfort and the stability provided by a larger hull and that high performance piercing With the, bow. And um, how much does the bolt weight? Um, I mean, this, like this, this kind this, of a setup. Yeah. Is there? Uh, a it's a rough. I mean, ballpark. You're you're looking at. It's a it's a lot of boats, a lot of interior Correct. volume. So you're looking at more. Um, I think you're about uh, probably 90, 90 tons. Okay. And it, do you know by any chance, like uh, license wise, is this how much the pros are? You're probably gonna. I would recommend a hundred, a hundred ton. Hundred. Yeah. Hundred yeah. ton. Okay. Definitely. Bring in an inventory boat. The idea is someone to be able to buy it mm -hmm. immediately, yes. put on their personal effects, their tender, and then go. And There's go. no adding things at the end of the day. Um, because we think that this is, you know, people are going to want when they buy a boat. There's totally. no there's no waiting for it. You can yeah. take this boat immediately. We often talk to our owners about, you know, how would you build an inventory boat? What systems would you put on? What were the things that you would like to see? Where would you put the day heads? So we use that knowledge because they use the boats. Mm -hmm. and we have ideas about what we think would work, but sometimes having their real experience experiences of how they use their boats helps us. So let's go through the basics that people always want to know. Sure. Cruising speed, top speed, um, you know, what are the engines burn, all that fun sure. stuff. So uh, this boat um, has those mans. Um, your, your top speed is about 18 knots. Um, cruising is between 12 and 16. 10 knots, your range is 1,500 miles. Um, wow. Leave, leave a reserve in there, 10% reserve for fuel. Um, but you know, most people cruise at that speed anyway. Nobody often totally. goes 18 knots on a boat of, of no, this size. That's the, the cruising speed is 12 to 16. That's hot. That's yeah. a really nice cruising speed. And and you've speed got 2,700 gallons of fuel capacity, so you, that's why you get you know you get that range at that 10 knot. Got it. And there's zero speed fins. Zero speed and the yeah. nice thing about the zero speed fins is they're located just aft of midship and they articulate. So they work at zero speed, but they also work when you're on your way. Um, and that's a really big component because people think just because there's zero speed stabilizer fins that they're only going to work when you're at rest, but they work when they're underway. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for showing us. It's I'll always a pleasure you to have you. This is so much fun. All right, you guys, as always, subscribe, 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 and we see you in the next one. Drop down in the comments if you have any questions. I will be emailing her and asking all the specs and answering all of your questions.